So this is my dust collection hookup. I have a Harbor Freight dust collector and I mounted the motor up in the ceiling and then I have a 5 inch pipe coming down out of the ceiling going into this theme baffle I made which separates most of the chips down into this trash can and then one main trunk line coming off the runs along the wall that I hook up my table saw, band saw, and other stuff to whenever I, any of the machines that I need dust collection on. When I decided to move my Harbor Freight from a single stage system to a two stage system, two stage meaning adding some type of separator or cyclone to it, I was trying to find out whether it was more efficient to use a theme baffle or a cyclone and I couldn't find any side by side comparisons of a theme baffle versus a cyclone and then for cost reasons I ended up just going with the theme baffle because I was able to use part of the equipment that came with my dust collector, some plywood I had on hand, so it was almost no cost for me to build the theme baffle and upgrade to a two stage system. But then I received an Oneida Super de Dust Deputy for Christmas. So I'm going to go ahead and upgrade my system and I thought I'd take this opportunity to give you some information I couldn't find to satisfy my own curiosity and that is with everything being equal in the dust collection system, the only change being a theme baffle versus a cyclone, what's the efficiency difference? So I've disconnected my branch line and I'm going to take an airspeed measurement right off the input on my theme baffle here and then once we replace this with the Oneida Super Dust Deputy we'll take another one right off the input on there and see how much if any difference there is. I'm going to set my anemometer to the max setting so that way it records the fastest airspeed that it takes and then shows that to me once we're done. Alright, looks like the winning number is 3583. So let's go do a little bit of math and see how many CFM that translates to. Alright, so I just crunched the numbers on this and this setup right now is pulling 440 CFM or cubic feet of air per minute. Now the way I got that is just by figuring out the volume which is pretty simple. Remember from basic geometry, volume is simply three dimensions. We have two dimensions here across and up, but this is a circle, so we use the formula to find the area of a circle, pi r squared. We measure this, and this is a five inch pipe, but it's actually a four and three quarter inch opening, so I took half of that to get the radius, squared that, multiplied it by pi, and that gave us the area of this, which was somewhere around 12 square inches. So we have this in square inches, but we need it in square feet, so that way it lines up with the feet per minute speed we got off the anemometer, and also that way so it's consistent with cubic feet per minute, which is the standard of air if we left in inches that math just wouldn't work out. So we, there's 144 square inches in a square foot, so we take our 12 point whatever it was, divided that by 144, and got how many square feet this opening is, which was some decimal. Multiplied that by our speed, and what that did is it gave, took the area and then we added the third dimension to get a volume, third dimension being the speed, and that brought us out to 441 CFM. So I'm going to go ahead and swap this out real quick with the dust deputy and then we'll take another measurement and see what happens. Alright, so the final numbers are in. While I had everything apart, I took some measurements off of just my main branch line here that's direct off the motor, so I guess it's not a branch line, the main line that comes right off the motor and it pulls at 832 CFM. When I had the theme baffle up and I took that measurement right off the main intake of the theme baffle, it pulled 441 CFM, which is a 47% efficiency loss. On the Super Dust Deputy Cyclone here, this is actually pulling 636 CFM right off this five inch port, which is only a 24% loss. So the Cyclone is a clear winner over the theme baffle. It has only half of the efficiency loss, so it's about two times more effective. If you want to see how I came to those CFM numbers, I laid out all of the steps in the article on my website. There's a link to that in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and subscribe, like, and comment, and more build videos will come, so not everything's going to be like this. Thank you.